You ready? Yeah. You're not looking at the camera. Doesn't matter. Oh, all right. You're going <laughs> to cut it out anyhow. Maybe. I might put it in the intro. I like putting stupid shit in the front. Welcome to AM Whiskey. I'm Aaron. This is Mark. And tonight we're doing a little something different. As you can see, we have a bunch of whiskey in front of us. So the idea here is everybody has their list of, you know, those entry level or value uh, bourbons. And we kind of thought about it and said, you know what, if you're watching a whiskey YouTube channel, you're probably already own those bottles. You are probably looking to get more into uh, bourbon. And that's what we wanted to try and get at here. We were looking to get value bourbons for the bourbon enthusiast. So this is not the video if you're just looking for those bottles that everybody's put on every other list. These are gonna be the, some bottles that we think as once you've already started your journey and you're ready to just go in, these are those like next bottles. Still like kind of the low end, I think everything we have here is under $50, but there are those bottles that, you know, once you have those basics, we're probably gonna, uh, move to. So does that sound about right to you? Sounds about right to you. So whiskey for the enthusiast, you're not going to get your, your tater bottles. Most likely there might be one in it. There might be two, but it's going to be that next grouping of bottles. And if you've gotten all those initial bottles that everybody wants to try, where you're branching out and trying different things, right? So, you know, I would expect their you know, so what we did, what, zero to 50? So, you know, you could have a Wild Turkey 101 or an old granddad, but I don't think they're going to be in this lineup. Yeah, this is, uh, we're not going in double blind. I know what my four were. Mark knows what her, his four uh, are, mm -hmm. but we don't know in what order and uh, which is in which class. So we're so. just going to stack rank and then reveal. We're just going to stack rank and then we're going to reveal All which right. ones are our favorite. We'll probably do a top top two for each of us and then that one in third place we'll kind of just decide what gets our overall all right third so place we're starting with our... a first sure hmm. i guess we can talk about these as we're as we're doing we them. can and i'm going to take a little bit of notes we're not going to do the whole big scoring system we got a lot of whiskey in front of us so it's kind of just going to try and move it along a little faster than normal so i should probably shut up yeah it's I pretty light rambling. Um, a little bit on the bright side. There's actually a little more spice to it than I got off the nose. Color's decent. It's not a bad pour. I enjoy it. Not too high proof. No. It's got some good dots in it. A mm -hmm. little bit of honey. It do definitely has a little bit of spice to it. Overall, it's pretty pretty good bourbon. Yeah, what's funny is I think that's one of mine. That's funny. I think it's one of mine. That's perfect. It's both of ours. <laughs> we put the same bottle in. That'd be funny. Moving to B. That's different. I think I so, like the nose on A better. I like the nose on A better. The palette on this is completely different. Like A I thought was a little sweeter. This has got a weird, not weird, just a different palette to it. It almost goes floral, uh, floral yeah. spice at the end. This this is much lighter to me. Mm -hmm. um, I get like the honey notes, all those kind of lighter characteristics that you're looking at. Mm -hmm. It's tasty though. Mm -hmm. I do like it. Yeah, I, I, so far I think we're doing pretty good. I like both these bottles, and we should. Well, they're if, if you're different. A, yeah, but if you're a bourbon enthusiast, all of these yeah. bottles should be good, or at least we think that they're, they're bottles mm -hmm. that, if you're getting into bourbon, you'll enjoy. Ooh, this one's got a completely different nose. I'm getting a lot mm -hmm. of caramel notes right off the get-go, just straight yeah. caramel. To me. 
This is the sweetest nose so far. Yeah, but it's got that dark sweetness to it. Ooh, and that kind of follows through on the palate. I get some brown sugar it's there. Really good. It's viscous. Like this is the best mouth feel so far, by far. It's it's way more oily. And you can see it in a glass. I mean, look, it looks like it's dripping or raining down. Yeah. Look if you can see all the drips. I mean, this is considerably thicker than the others. I mean, it's, and it's non-offensive. I mean, it's it's sweet, it's thick, not a lot of spice. No, that's definitely the sweetest. Rinse out my little my palate as we go a little. Mm -hmm. I'm actually having to take notes. Yeah, fine. Right. It's a lot in front of us. We got a. Are you working on your stack rank yet? Because you seem to be pretty tied. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm guessing all of these are going to be pretty close in score to me, and I'm going to have to go back and kind of narrow it down. I'll go back and make adjustments. Yeah. Ooh. Got kind of a licorice note on this one. Hmm. Like a red licorice, though, not a like a Twizzler. Like a red, red vine or something? Yeah, like a red vine or a Twizzler. Hmm. Now this one has what I'd consider a hair more spice characteristic. I see your Twizzler. I'm getting a little bit of um, a little bit of that, maybe like a almond on the yeah. on it. I feel like I, this one has the most oak to it. Mm -hmm. I don't know that it's necessarily the oldest, but it definitely. Hmm. On to E. Are you on E yet? Uh, yeah, I'm moving on to E. Hmm. And then... Not sure. Yeah. Hmm. It's a pretty good nose. This one to me is very floral on mm -hmm. the nose. It's floral and clean. No spice. Pretty good on the palate. There is that floral about two thirds of the way into it. This one's very muted to me. Uh huh. Like it's got that. To me, this seems like it's going to be fairly low proof, maybe the lowest proof of the bunch. Um, and it, it's just very soft. It's got a good, like a nice honey note to it, but it feels soft to me. You disagree? I'm not. No, no, I don't disagree. I agree with everything you said. I, I agree on the muted. It's very soft and it's got a weird spice build up after like two or three nips. Oh, you're already starting to pull them back, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, I start a baseline of. You know what the first one is, and I go to the second one, is that better or worse? Yeah. The next one is it better and worse. And I just start doing the better or worse thing to shift. I mean, I'm not I'm just doing I'm that. not I'm trying to paper. bottle guess. I'm not trying to do anything else. But this will let me visualize. And instead of having to look at the it. paper, I can then just grab yeah, I got it. the next the next phase. Well, I think what I was missing is this needed a little swirl job. Yeah, the old spinner rooney, eh? Yeah, yeah. I learned anything from Matt Porter. It's that need a good swirl job. I can confirm he didn't learn anything. Oh, wow. Oh, I like the nose on this one. Mm hmm. This one to me has probably the most well rounded nose. Yeah. That was pretty good. It's a, it's a complete bourbon. It's well rounded. It's mm -hmm. um, it actually tastes a little craftish. Well, 
Well, it's things that like these are these four bottles. Like I don't know what you pick, and you don't know what I pick. But you know, the odds of probability is is I may or may not have had this before. This one tastes really low proof to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I, I mean. Well, in general, I mean, I don't. So far from what I've drank through, I don't think there's too many things in this price range, you know, zero to fifty, that's going to be much over one or something. Right. Well, and I think if you're just, if you're, you know, you've started your collection, but you're moving forward in your journey, you're probably not looking for any of those hazmat bourbons or anything that's really heavy hitting on, on the barrel proof side. You might move slightly towards that, but I don't think you're going to move past into the 120s, 130s, 140s. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, maybe. I mean, it's, well, I mean, part of it was, is this is the enthusiast. You know, the old, great, old, very old granddad and stuff like that, right? We, or old granddad. We love that, right? Especially the, the full proof. You know, 114, you can't beat it for 30 bucks, but that wasn't the point of this video, right? right. It was to get away from that. We're, we tried not to use those bottles that are in everybody's like value things the Evan Williams bottled in bonds, the Wild Turkey 101, uh, mm -hmm. the old granddad, the. Old Forester 100 or, or the 86. If you're into bourbon, you've probably already had all of those. You probably have those in your collection. They're great to learn your flavor profile um, and move from there. Yeah. These, these are, we're, we looked at these as this these is are the next yeah, this bourbons is, you to You know move to. your favor profile and you're trying to hedge your bets in a certain genre or area to find that unicorn bottle that doesn't cost three hundred dollars yeah i mean a thousand dollars i don't know that i'd say that any of these are unicorn bottles no but to find that those bottles that are maybe a little bit more off the beaten path not all of them but you know I, oh. and i know i tried to go through different some different categories here you haven't tried g yet i have not i just nosed it mm -hmm. It's pretty thick. It's in a Four Roses glass, but I'm not going to... Mine's in a beaten up Stellum glass. <laughs> oh, see? Maybe you found your Stellum, because I don't have one. My Stellum is at my sister-in-law's house. Well, I didn't bring a Stellum glass well, over, so that means this was here. Well, no. Okay, well, but it's your Stellum glass. Now, what else is new? The other part is, is that I noticed the Stellum that's written on it is mostly washed away. Uh -huh. I mean, it's really light. This is another well-rounded bourbon. Second oiliest, second thickest. Muted though. Yeah, it's 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 subdued. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of them will be. Yeah. I mean, again, I, we're not looking for proof monsters. So for somebody who typically yeah. enjoys proof, yeah. these have a much different characteristic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I intentionally didn't bring like the low dollar or under $50 proof monsters. Like I thought about it, I looked at it and I thought about stacking it, but I kind of knew from our previous discussion that you weren't going to do that. And I just didn't want us to go through a lineup where you know, every other glass has got a 20 to 30 Ooh. point, you know, proof difference. It's got a really, it's almost like a strawberry shortcake nose. Yeah, this was, I, I can see the strawberry shortcake now that you said that, that's very. Yeah, the, for me to pull that out of my you know where, I mean, the broad side of the barn gets hit every once in a while, ladies and gentlemen. And that's the thing. I mean, tasting notes are just what you get when you smell it. You're going to oh, pull yeah. off your experiences yeah. and your things. No, I, I smelled the, I could pull off something that was reasonably close to a strawberry. And then behind the strawberry was something that was some sort of crustiness, right? And then there was a, a thickness, a creaminess to it. question is whether this is any good on the palate or whether I hate it. Oh, wow. 
It came in with a spice, and then there's that note, those couple notes. I didn't think any of these were overly spicy. No. I think uh, overall, the general profile I'm getting on most of these is pretty sweet. Sweet. And I'm not getting a lot of oak other than maybe D. Uh, yeah, I think D had a little bit of D, I think, oak. for me, had the most oak. There's some. It's the only one I wrote down oak for. I'll clean out my palette here. Well, we've gone down one round, and now it's time to start go pulling back, back and figure it out. Yeah. Trying to figure out what the first one I want to pull back is. Well, I'm got what appears to be a three horse race for for the worst. Um. Yeah. I mean, I have a three horse race for the best. Um. And probably a, a three-horse race for the worst. And again, when we say worst, all it's of these well, are good. All, all these are drinkable. I would I would drink, drink any of them any night of the week. Any of them. Some of them have uh, just some of them to my palate tonight. And it could be different on a different night. This is how I'm feeling. I, I... So do you have your last place? I think I figured out what my least favorite is. And, uh, yeah, so did I. So, what's the first one you're pulling back? What's e. your last place? He is my last. Okay. Uh, made a flip there at the end. My original last is now seven and my new last is eight. So my last is going to be A. Wow. Which I think I know what this is and I expected it to do better, but hmm. okay. for some reason my... tonight, it's just not hitting me right. Actually, now that I just tried that, I'm changing. I apologize. It is going to be F. F's coming back. That's my last place. Okay. Seventh place. For me, it's A. I just flipped those two. H. H for you, huh? Ooh. That's weird. I have that in my running for the best one. Ooh, let me try that. You said A? Yeah, I have A. Ooh. Wow. Wow, I like H. Well, we talked about this in the day that I don't know about necessarily polar opposite. There, I think we can both appreciate. We both appreciate what the other one likes, but we have different. Preferences. But we definitely have different preferences in overall. So, I mean, it doesn't necessarily surprise me that we're going different. All right, so number six. I have to go. I have to. I'm pulling back D. D is in dog. D is in David. D, D is in Dudley. Okay. Wow. What's your six? Uh, I'm pulling back um, G. Okay. Now we're at a point where I have three that I have basically classified the same that I need to figure out. Yeah, I'm, uh, I mean, at this point, one of the ones that I thought I didn't like, I actually liked more the second time I went back. <sighs> Do 
three hours later in 22 seconds. We're not ever doing this right. Not, not, not this many. No, not this many. All right, so what's uh, number five for you? F. F is number five for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm pulling back E. It's good, but it's a little thin for what I want. Fit. Yeah. yeah. I gave that A. Yeah. That was the one that we said was muted. I'm really surprised that muted lasted that long. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think the last taste that I had was a little less muted than I expected. What's funny is, is... There's only two that haven't had a vote yet. Hmm. Uh, fourth place for me is going to be B. I, well, I mean, that's that's your call. I had G at six, so. I know. So for me, my top three, and I think this is where we. My top three are A, B, and C. And your top three are B, C, and H. No. My top three are C, D, oh, I didn't put and H. You put four C is B. Four. What was your fourth place? B. B. Yeah, that was it. I didn't write that down. Yeah, your B, your C, D, H. And you have A, B, and C as your top. Mm -hmm. So C is the only one that's in both of our our rankings. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna go to C. I already right. know which one I like the most. I would agree with. I'm giving H my third place. D is my second place. C is my first place. I refuse to do this one to you. Hey, I Please mean. hold. Well, the subscriber you're calling is okay. Okay, hey. Message 006. Wow. The caller you called. That's how you subscribe to it. I'm editing this out, by the way. That's just fine. I'm just letting you know. I've noticed that all my catchphrases and other things don't make our videos. That's not true. I didn't know you had a catchphrase. Mm. I thought your catchphrase was keep the whiskey flowing. And that's been in the, every video. Not every video, but quite a few. Well, everyone since you started saying it. Now, I do have the answer key here. Not going to look at it until you've made up your mind. And again, I think these are all very good whiskeys oh yeah uh for me so what did you, so here's how i'm going and i'm rolling it down b is third a is second c is first all right we'll see one for both of us correct so c which is interesting because c is off my profile I was thinking that when I tasted it, I did not think that you would necessarily like that it's one. But because of what it is. My notes on C is that it's sweet, it's oily, it's thick, there's a spice component. I feel like that was it maybe is, the most well-rounded. It is the most well-rounded, the best drinking, it's the best experience bourbon. I, I, I 
agree. Now, before we get to the results, uh, did you have a theme or was there anything that you tried to do with what you put in the entries? No, I mean, I can call out the bottles. So the bottles that I added, well, I'd, I'd, we'll, we'll figure it out. 20 ish dollars up to somewhere shy of $50. And they're all things um, that aren't uh, a trail of the world tater bottle. Right? They're then, you know, when everybody starts, everybody starts a journey. So you're trying an old forester, you're trying a buffalo trade, you're trying a, a Russell, the wild turkey. And the majority of mine are all a little bit off that beaten path um to to go outside of it i mean there is i think there is one maybe two bottles that are within that that genre but just slightly a right or left turn okay all right so uh let's see what, hold on a second where did you put d at? uh d i had is my number two bottle okay and then what was h your third uh h was my third yep okay so let me do some math real quick three hours later in 22 seconds honestly what i feel Two, the most seven, uh nine. interested in is uh bottle f well the two bottles that we rated the lowest are e and f each of them you know so e i gave eight he gave fifth yeah f he gave fifth, fifth. or he gave eighth i gave fifth okay so what's f F is. Did you even bring the bottles from downstairs? No. Mictor's, Does, doesn't matter. Uh, Mictor's rye. Mictor's rye. I wanted to throw in a rye because, uh, in my mind, if you've already started exploring bourbon, and this was how my journey went, I gave it fifth. I was into bourbon, and I was like. I really want to try a I rye. Said rounded and light spice. Haven't been big into rye. I want to dip my toe into rye. This is a great bottle if you want to dip your toe into rye. Hmm. Second to last place was E. I guess E. Was E. E and F tied. Which is very old Barton. You gotta be fucking kidding. That's when it was muted. Oh, uh, man. That's, oh. What, that's what you put there. Very old Barton. So very old Barton, hundred proof. We want to leave these. It's over. probably the cheapest bottle uh, in the lineup. I don't know if I would go that far. All right. I don't know how much. That's about a thirty dollar bottle. Yeah. No. no. I mean, if you get find it in a liquor store, once you rip me off, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So we got ENF taken care of. What's the next lowest for both of us? Uh, there's a tie between G and H. Okay. So G and H. So G was a fourth and a sixth, and then H was a seventh and a third. Both. G mm -hmm. is Bowman Brothers. Wow. <laughs> shitting me is jepson's sherry cask finish i wanted to put a finished bourbon in here because again if you are moving into your bourbon world i thought that you would want to taste a cask strength you might want to dip your toe into a I really finished it. bourbon i really liked it i like that bottle 